Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 137. Yes, 137. Feeling a little absent-minded tonight. We're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've uh, saved Telo Station. We boarded the Ravager. We've been placing proton cores. Two of two play or two of four plays so far, and uh, we're about to see what's behind door number three. Uh, I almost wish I'd brought one of the droids with me. Uh, let's try picking it first. I'm not exactly made of the ooh, lightsaber parts. Uh, I'm not exactly made of security spikes. Although, actually, I, I might have accumulated a few of them. This is the first place where I've actually had a need to use the security spikes and all that. Of course, I've also had people of uh, superior lockpicking skill You've handy. Oh, the there we go. Place the proton core, prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. All right, let's set it off. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. Only one proton core All remains right. to be set. We're encountering heavy resistance. One more. I don't know how long we can hold out. All right. Hold on. We're almost done. Wait. What was that? What the hell was that? I told you to wait. Mandalore, we've made contact with the enemy. And one of the cores has detonated prematurely. Was it in the target zone? No, Mandalore. We have failed you. I offer you my... Do we have another core? No, Mandalore. <laughs> Even with the other two cores set in the ship, it will not be sufficient to destroy the vessel. We need to find another proton core, or we need to make one. All right, wait for my signal. This isn't over. <laughs> and don't kill yourself before I tell you. And don't kill yourself before I tell you. Nice. Okay. Alright, you sent the third proton core, only one remains, but uh you need to find or build another one. Okay, not a problem. Uh let's Oh yeah, that's right. Let's uh we, we just need to go back to uh the other place. But first no. Uh, we got to do a little bit of backtracking here. It's okay. Running's good for us, right? <sighs> and it was over here, right? This will be. Proton core is locked, cannot be removed. Let's go ahead and hit the missile bay controls. Heal the missile bay doors. Activate the logs. Override emergency. Log out. Which means we can now come over here. Proton core has been unlocked from this bay and can now be removed. Remove the proton core. You have retrieved the proton core from the missile bay. Bam! Well, wait, wait, no, 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 bam yet. Not until, not until we're clear. Uh, and do I want to do anything at the work? I mean, I got stuff that I really do want to do at the workbench, but not, not during the live stream. That, that's the kind of grindy stuff that, that just, uh, it's not, it's not worth it. All right, let me just double check real quick. All right, yep, 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 yep. What I want to see is where I need to head next. Um, all right, I need, all right, I'm going to head east and I think everything's going to loop, loop back around. Then we'll go this way and then we'll go this way. And we're going to go in here and at least find one locker with a sonic disruptor. 
Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I really would be tempted to break a lot of this stuff down for parts, but I don't I don't know that it's actually gonna be of use. This door leads to my cell. I had forgotten. And this is why we brought her along. You will not trigger this event without her and your party. So if you want to experience and get the benefits from this, you got to have her in your party. Um, let us stay forgotten. Any weapons in there? Is there anything you need? We don't have time for this. Nah, we want to be supportive. We're, we're the light side, so let's... Uh, is there anything you need? If there is time, I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time. All right, let us stay forgotten. We don't have time for this. Do whatever you feel you need to do. I forgot if we could run around looting in there. I was kind of hoping we could. Maybe we can. Past the surface, there is the force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the force, now there is a barren wasteland. It's a it's a it has taken time for me to return here. I lost my way, but I've been stronger for the journey. Are you though? I mean, are you? What happens now shall not be done out of hate or revenge, but for the sake of all life. And I ask you finally to forgive me. This body is a prison no longer. All right. And... Jesus has come to terms with the death of her world and calmed the hatred within herself. This has given her a stronger connection to the Force and a bonus to her Force points. Which is good, because she goes through that stuff quick. Alright, and what's behind this door? There we go. Uh, I mean, nothing personal, but uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and take your stuff. Be a shame to leave it behind. What were you doing with a poison grenade? And only a poison grenade in the locker. Anything else? Anything else? Nope, not yet. Um. Okay. Hmm. I I would like a connection with the force that gives me an extra bonus to my uh, force points. No. Okay. I guess this is what it feels like to want. And, oh, that goes nowhere. That, we're going to go through last. we gotta we got to take care of that last proton core first. That goes... into here? Uh, why do I feel like I'm getting lost? I've got a map and I'm getting lost. Nope, we've clearly been there. Uh, here then? Hello? Nope, I've clearly been here. Or maybe not. Ah, fine. Not too low now. Hello, Genesis. How are you doing today? We are looting and ravaging the Ravager. As a part of the final quest line. And getting a mic bit lost. Okay. No, no, we we just walked around in a big circle is all. We squared that circle. And now we should be able to come here. And is this not the uh I thought that was the place. 
We got the proton core. Oh, no. This is the place. There we go. I'm doing pretty good. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Little, little, little tired. But I had a full, full day of work today, too. And somehow managed to stab myself with a sharp adjacent blade. Arming signal received. You're sounding better than the last time we talked to you. Alright. Uh, I have one last Sith Lord to kill and I'll be along presently. Alright. Uh, we still have to kill the master of the ship or Telos will be finished anyway. Okay. Journal entry added. XP added. Let us make our way to the master of the ship. No, oh, that's not openable. Okay. Let's make our way to the master of the ship and, uh, and then we'll blow this joint. Hi, guys. All right. Uh, let's start with you. Let's start with that. And then we'll start with this. No, that's okay. I, I've had those days. Uh, some of the some of the times where I'm prepping for coffee craft has been uh, there's been a lot of grinding going on there too. And with some games, it's hard to it's hard to keep that uh, background stream on while you're doing that sort of thing, unless you're just gonna lurk. And there's nothing wrong with lurking. I promise you. All right. Yeah, maybe we will finish this whole thing. Uh, I've been fl flip-flopping on whether or not we're going to be able to finish the rest of the game tonight or not. And we, we just... I'm never entirely sure if we are or aren't. What I am sure of is that I need to save the game because it's been a little while and it would be heartbreaking absolutely grown man crying heartbreaking if I were to not save all right uh any oh yes please what's in the locker a life support pack I mean I'm not gonna complain we're about to go take on a Sith Lord Having a life support pack would be, uh, would be nice. Let's do the wave. Let's do... The enlightenment. And then let's flurry some people. Oh, so how much more do you have to do before you get your affiliate? Is it a matter of, uh, hours or followers? Or is it average people? Because that, that was the one that got me for the longest time, was uh, the average of so many people per stream. Ooh. Six more? Well, here, here's... Uh, I, man, I need to get that shout-out command working. That way I can tell her, you know, do a, do a shout-out with the link and let everybody know, please, if you're not already, follow Genesis. Give him that follow. He deserves it. Yeah, the, the average. That was the one that got me for the longest time. Alright. Uh, let's... Any other hidden storage lockers? ADD kicking in. <laughs> oh. There are some remains that remain. What remains in this remain? An adhesive grenade? And a life support pack. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I do. I do. You and Beast Lord and, and the whole crew have just been amazing and helpful. And I need... I, I really do need to help out as best I can. All right. 
it. Uh, oh, okay. I was getting worried that I was going to tell me skill too low again. Yeah, I, I love that they're giving you components and life support packs, but honestly, at this point, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't built the biggest, baddest, whatever it is that you're going to be able to make, you're, you're in a tough place. Oh, hi guys. Would you like to hear the good word of the Jedi? And that's it, buff everybody up. Go slice some fools. <laughs> and done. That, that was... That was much too easy. No computers to hack? Any, uh, remains to reclaim? No? Okay. Okay. Hi! Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. We've, uh, we've got some new contestants. Let's hit him with a force suppression, and then a wave, and then where's my uh, master shield valor? Force immunity, and we'll do that. Come on, let's finish him up. Oh, that's right. We gotta finish our buffs and stuff. There we go. There's a nice extra level there. All right. Really, one of these fools has some stuff we can loot. Nice little prototype shield. All right. Anything else while I'm here? Is there anything else anybody would like to share? Ooh, some chemicals, which would be nice if we could get to a lab station. Uh, we we passed one more crafting bench than I was expecting, which is great, except you can't make med packs and that sort of stuff at a crafting bench. Let's, uh, all right, we got to destroy the Ravager. We got to find Darth Nihilus. Thank you, thank you. Let's go to... Level up. So this means that we're going to go from level 28. Ooh, I didn't realize that we were that, uh, that we were that high. The problem is, and this is why you really should be able to, uh, refocus your crystal without Kriya, because the crystal's bonded to you. One of the crystals in my lightsaber is a named crystal that you pick up at a cave, and after you accumulate but so many levels, you, you're supposed to refocus it and it increases the bonuses to something a little more commensurate with the level that you're at. Uh, but once Korea leaves your party, she's the only one who can refocus it for you for some reason. Um, that, that That's kind of bunk. I mean, you're a level 28 Jedi and you can't refocus your own crystal? That makes no sense. All right. Uh, treat injury, security, persuade, computer use, and... Yeah, there ain't going to be no more stealth going on. Ooh, powers. This is a tough one. I'm not even sure... What, if anything else, I really want to do? Oh, that's right, because I was working on the Force Oppression, so that lets me finish the Force Break, which means the ability will cancel normal, improved, and master versions of the following Force Powers affected on the target. Force Aura, Force Valor, Burst of Speed, Energy Resistance, Force Resistance, Battle Med, yada yada yada. All six tiers of Force Inspire followers are also canceled. Mm. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do that. Alright, does anybody else get a level up now that I've leveled? No. Aw, that's a little sad. Let's uh 
save that. Alright, it looks like we got two-ish rooms before the big fight. So let's clear those out, and then we'll start the big fight at the top of the next episode. Oh! Hi, Dark Jedi. Let's do that. Let's do that. And where's my force immunity? Let's do that. Okay. All right. Oh. Well, that was moderately disappointing. Chemicals and tech specialist belt. I mean, kind of sort of nice, I guess. What remains in these remains? A plasma grenade. Uh, so the Jedi apprentice carried a plasma grenade? Or that's all that remained because uh, we, we chopped them up pretty good. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but that is not where my brain went. Alright, let's grab the items there. Huh? And let's clear out this uh, northern area. If there is anything to clear out. I don't... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Uh, oh. Large locker? Yes, please. What's in the large locker? Bunch of chemicals that we can't use. What's in this locker? Prototype shield that we definitely can use. And in this locker? A life support pack. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take it. All right, never mind. We're only 22 minutes into to the episode worth, so let's uh let's save just outside the door. Okay. Okay. And let's uh Let's take on Darth Nihilus. Nihilus. Oh, I'm gonna Star Wars music is ominous. Ooh. What's in the lootable? Life support bag, prototype sheet. Okay. That's it. The one locker. We got the one locker. And to the bridge. This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time. All right. Uh, you don't need to come with me. It was never a question of need, and I would follow you wherever your path leads. This thing must be done. It must come to okay. an end. Okay. I am, you know, I want to take a minute to... to buff up, but I also worry that we're going to engage in a conversation first. And the buffs will wear off before beforehand. So let's just go ahead. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's end this. Leroy Jenkins. Mm, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah, this is what I thought. All right. Hi. What you doing? All right, not what I was expecting, but okay. I've come to stop you. Your path ends here. I will not let you destroy Telos. I've come to be your apprentice. Oh, 
why I have come to be your apprentice. Truth, I have come to be an apprentice. I've come of my own choice. Visa is not part of this. Release me or I'll blow your ship to hell. Uh, I've come of my own choice. Visa is not part of this. No. Do not harm him. I am the one who has betrayed you. I am the one you not who should suffer. I will return to you. But please, do not harm him. Do not what you did to me. I beg you. Um. Her loyalty is to me now, and your battle is with me. <laughs> She's my slave, Sith Lord, not yours. She would die for me. Perhaps you're still human enough to remember betrayal? Uh, no, let's do the first one. It's the least bad of the options. Uh, Kree has lied to you. There are no Jedi here. Uh, if you use your power here, you'll only exhaust yourself and become vulnerable. Then she has won. Your victory against her has been for nothing. I still have no idea what he said. Oh! Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? I, I still can't shake the feeling that, uh... <laughs> and now you're weak. Weak enough to be defeated. Strike down. No. Uh, even now the hunger is consuming you, just as Korea knew it would. Okay, fine. Let's dance. Oh! I will have help. Okay. Oh, I should probably, uh, heal up a heal in there, too. Oh, everybody's fire fighting. Okay, that's good to know. Oh. Here I am, worried about queuing everything up, and, uh, that happens. I saw it. Dude, quick argling the marbles. No, he's not. <laughs> Horse breach visas? Uh, ooh. No, stay with me. We can stop him. I, I will try. What, you gonna say something like there is no try? Alright, um... Let's try to force breach him again. Let's get the shield. Let's get the meditation. I want to die first. Nah. Nah, we got this. He's almost gone. Death is dramatic. What the hell are you doing up there? We need to get off this ship now. <laughs> uh, do what you need to do. Then we need to leave. I have to see with the force and my eyes. Uh, look upon his face, then bring me the mask. Okay, the mask is a really nice bit of kit, but it is dark side only. So, uh, all you light side people need not, don't bother. Uh, so let's just go, if it will give you some peace, then do it. Then we need a GTFO. Uh, tell me. Tell me what you saw. See what you needed to see. Yeah, that's probably the better way to phrase that. 
Yes, it was enough. The death of my homeworld will always have its place within me, but it no longer dictates my future. I Good. wish to learn the ways of the Force from one who has already faced that pain, and to use it to save the galaxy from those who would do it harm. Wherever you walk, I will follow you. My path is at an end. Aww. Don't let the ship die as it should have done. Very well, follow me. Very well, follow me. Let's get out of here. Because this ain't going to be a pretty place to be before too long. Uh-oh. Wait, what was that? Candorous, are you alright? Get away from me. I don't need your help. Just leave me here. Candorous, the force lies in all living things. I have watched my people die. You <laughs> will survive. You have no choice. You have been wounded before and lived, Mandalorian. Rise. Many battles do you still have left in you. Yeah, like to the end of the game. Sound like Revan. At the end. <laughs> Interesting. Do you know what he told me in those last days on the Outer Rim? <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom. And that we had been deceived. That it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Oh. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed. A Sith would say that. Of course, a Sith that could also do it. that. He said there was a war coming, that it was waiting out in the unknown regions, in the dark, waiting for us to destroy each other. A war? This war? No, not this one. Another one, more terrible. Oh. Against an evil we couldn't begin to comprehend. A war of belief that had been fought for thousands of years. Revan went off to fight it. And left you here. Revan was one of the greatest hmm. military leaders in the galaxy. In history, he knew what he was doing. And I always follow orders. Mm -hmm. Journal added. XP received. Alright, you've slain Visa's master, now all that needs to be done is escape and detonate the explosives. Alright. Uh, man. I went further over than I really wanted to, but uh... Time to go. Let's get out of here. Hmm, I wonder if I'll have enough time on the ship to break some stuff down and build some stuff and that kind of... Yada yada ing. Are they really gonna make me run all the way back? Oh no. Empty. They're really gonna make me run all the way back? Fine. What is the fastest way back? Well, where's my force speed? I hate the blur that it does, but uh, at least this means I get to run down the hallways faster. Come on, guys. Oh, there we go. This route leads back to the shuttle at Citadel Station. Do you wish to leave? Uh, is that where I need to go? Where do I need to go? message log. I want the completed. Uh, you've destroyed them. Okay. Oh, let's talk to him first.
No? Or is this the way we need to leave? Nope. Okay. Uh, hmm. Then I guess it's time to leave for good. Leave the Ravager for good. Alright, looks like uh, it's about to go to video. There we go. Alright, good. It is blowing up. I was worried that it was going to leave without a, or let us leave without blowing it up. Bang. Zoom. What's next? Alright. We're back at Citadel Station. Things seem to be a little bit better. Are we going to get a little Nassi breathing space? Admiral Nassi. Uh, very well. Lead on. Admiral Nassi. This is Karth from the first Knights of the Old Republic game. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. Is that all you wanted out? I read your records. How the Jedi sentenced you for doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? Uh... Did you... Oh! Did you know him? I served with him like you did. And we had to part ways like you did. Do you know where Revan went? He said that there were places where he had to walk where I could not go. Places hmm. where having allies or anyone he cared about would only place them in danger. It's been four years and I still don't know what happened to him. <laughs> then it looks like you'll wait a while long. No. Can't give up hope. He told me to stay here to try to keep the Republic strong and that he would return. It was the hardest request I ever had to follow. Uh, why did he ask that? Know, but it was important to him. He said that he believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars. That it oh. hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Yeah, we Whatever just heard was, that. I think he went off to find it. To fight it. How did you know Revan? It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship called the Endar Spire. It was being oh, attacked okay. So he's Terrace, basically giving the you the, the story of uh, Knights of the Old we Republic one. Republic. But it was like the war didn't end for him. He would keep remembering things that he'd done, and it kept driving him. And I think he finally remembered something terrible that he'd done during the Mandalorian Wars, and he hmm. went to put an end to it. He left a lot of people who cared about him behind, but I think he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. But whatever he set out to do, I, I don't think he succeeded. And here you return. With his ship. Without him. Revan the yes. ship? Wherever he went, your ship's been there. If Okay, so this is how we finally get the Navi computer unlocked. Some trace of Revan. Do you want me to tell you what I find? So oh. tell him that Admiral Nassi is following his orders. Well, okay then. Safe journey, Exile. Oh, it's Bastila. Did he know? No, he didn't. There are times I fear we shall never know where he left Karth. And I <laughs> cannot live not knowing the answer. Why he sought to protect us. He asked us to stay to keep the Republic safe. It was important to him. And after meeting the Exile, I'm convinced that there are worse things to lose in the galaxy. <laughs> Interesting. Video time. Where are we going now? I know, this one's running a little long. But, uh, at the next opportunity, I'll take a break. to lose their lives like I lost my family in Malachor 5 uh -oh. and father left me 
left us all when he lost all that he loved at Malachor V. We go now, my master, to that dark place which made you, where you gained your ship, your troops. Hmm. Your ship, my prison, that you dragged from the gravity well at Malachor V. Wish I'd never met him. Wish I'd died there. But the storms have dragged me down into Malachor V. Um. We will not surrender. We will not die like we did on Malachor V. Your command echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malachor V. Now Malachor V comes to us, and I wish to face it this last time. You know where you must go. It calls to you still. It is the heartbeat of the past. Okay. And she must be stopped there now, or she will bring the screams of Malachor V to the galaxy, just as we carry the echo all this way. I guess we're headed to Malachor 5. I mean, we come on. We all, we heard it enough times in the game that we should have known that this is where we were coming. This is what it was coming to. And she must be stopped there. Hmm. Okay. Well, hello, Korea. You, you appear to have some friends. You're looking a little... Sithy. Um. But the bodies at the felt. No? Just me? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, this does not look good. All right. It has been some time. That that seems dangerous. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Spare <laughs> me? Ah, yes. No, you simply did not learn the lesson I sought <laughs> to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the exile did what he did. There is much to be done. Hmm. Oh, oh, video time. Yeah. Oh, no. We're about to crash again. Kid. Is it sad that I think we, we have fewer landings that we've not crashed than landings we have crashed? Oh. Oh, that's going to take a little more Bondo than usual. Yeah, that's going to take a little more tent work. You know, I'm just going to leave it right here. Because it's probably going to put us at another Last video. Master, he is here. I know. What is thy bidding, my master? <laughs> you are to do nothing. Oh, when really? When he arrives, bring him before me. Yeah, I don't forget. You will not survive Malachor. What will you do with him, my master? You know what I shall do. You, who wear my teachings so well. I will break him. He is a blank slate upon which my teachings may be written, as I mm -hmm. intended for you so long ago. Leave me. Await the arrival of the exile. When he comes, bring him before me. I, I don't think that's the way this is going to go. But okay. All right. That. That. <laughs> yeah, that took a little bit longer than expected. All right, let's save the game. And because of the way that because of the way this is going, there's no real good place to insert a cut or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna publish this as an extra long episode and take a quick break. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And 
If you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.